Alright, what's going on you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. I've got a couple of interesting stories for you guys today. This first story has to be maybe the biggest story of the month, aside from the actual Olympia. Nick Walker just announced on his Instagram that he is officially out of the 2023 Mr. Olympia at just three days away from the competition. Prejudging is on Friday night for Open. Now, obviously, this is devastating to Nick, devastating to his fans, and just devastating to bodybuilding in general, because honestly, Nick being a top three guy last year, Nick being an Arnold Classic champion, runner-up at the Arnold this year, I watched a lot of prediction videos, a lot of people in the comments, a, a lot of people had Nick top three, and a lot of people honestly had Nick winning the show. So I really do think this changes the dynamic of this lineup. And I think that top three right now is wide open. That third place spot that Nick had last year, I, it, I, it could be completely up in the air who takes that spot. Samson, Brandon, Andrew Jacked, Hunter Labrada. And I mean, Nick had a really legitimate reason. He basically had no choice, the hamstring injury. But I mean, it, it does feel like now this lineup is going to be missing some significant star power. Now that Nick's not in it, we already know that Rami's not doing it. And I guess you could put uh, Ian Valier in there too. He's been a top 10 guy, and now he's out of it. Brett Wilkin, who a lot of people thought was going to be one of the top guys here, he's out. But I think this Nick Walker announcement is probably the biggest story to come out of this Olympia, like I said, aside from the Olympia results themselves. I think a lot of people are going to be very disappointed. A lot of prediction videos definitely just changed. I think that third place spot just really opened up. That top three in general just really opened up. And I'm going to play you guys exactly what Nick said here in a minute. But I want to know in the comments below, as you listen to Nick's words, what are your new predictions? How badly did this impact what you thought was going to happen at the Olympia this year? Comment your predictions below where you thought Nick was going to place prior to this announcement. And who do you think is going to fill that spot now that Nick is gone? Overall, just really unfortunate news, and I hope that Nick is able to get better, come back next year. We'll see him at the Olympia fully healed. Uh, like I said, from a body, I've said this before, from a bodybuilding fan standpoint, Nick is one of my favorite guys to watch. As just a pure fan, when I'm watching, Nick is like, he's just like one of the guys that you got to be excited about. He brings that excitement freak factor, and he's a relatable dude. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. All right, guys, so... Um... I have some very unfortunate news to deliver to you guys. Um, I will not be competing in this year's Mr. Olympia due to a hamstring tear that I did um, right before we actually came here. Um, and I try to push through it. Um, I tried to do whatever I could, get all the treatment that I could, literally did, you know, whatever it takes, um, but it just uh, gradually got worse. Um, it did not progress in any way, shape or form. And me and my team, we thought it was best that we just pulled out because um, we knew there was just no shot of us placing top three at this point um, or higher. And we do not want to drop placing. And with how severe this tear is, we thought it was the best case. Um, so I also contacted Jim Mannion, uh, Dan Sullivan, and um, Jake Tyler, or I'm sorry, Jake Wood. Um, and they were very supportive. Um, I am very thankful for those guys. Um, they were very, 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 very supportive of this decision. And, you know, they made sure I, you know, asked me if I ever needed anything. And, you know, that just makes me proud to be a part of this organization the IFBB and to see how supportive those guys are, um, how caring those guys are. So I would like to thank them um, for that. Uh, you know, that being said, um, this was a very hard decision to make, you know, cause this prep was very smooth. It was very easy to be honest. I kept telling Matt every day, I'm going to win your first one. 
And then, you know, last second this happens. And it just, it just sucks. Cause you don't know what to do. But, you know, if I know myself, there's just another reason for me to come back stronger. Another reason to come back better. And uh, that's what I'll do. You know, and I also want to thank Maria. Because honestly, if she wasn't around, I probably wouldn't have even made it here. I probably would have caught her quits already. And she was a huge part of that for me. So I'm very thankful to have the girl that I have by my side. But if I learned anything from this, is anything can happen at any given second. But it's, it's how you handle it. It's what you do that defines who you are and the character you will become. And anyone who knows me knows I always come back stronger and I come back better. And that's exactly what I'm going to do once I heal. And, you know, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support, for all the love that you guys have shared throughout this whole prep. And, um, you know, I, I will be here the whole weekend. Obviously, you know, I will try to be at the expo the best as I can and uh, make this weekend for you guys. So come stop by. I, I'll probably be at the HD Muscle booth sitting probably. Um, but thank you guys. And uh, make sure we'll be better. Now, next up in the news. If the Nick Walker update wasn't big enough, we also got an update the week of the Olympia from none other than your reigning defending four-time champion, Chris Bumstead, doing a 30-second vacuum hold. This is one of the more revealing posing update videos that he's done during this prep period, and we get it just days away from him stepping on stage at the Olympia. Now, like I said, I'm going to do a prediction video for both Classic and Open here in a day or so. So I'll give you guys my actual predictions in those videos, but just for the sake of this one, looking at Chris Bumstead here, I want to reiterate that my prediction for Chris has not changed since the first year that he won the Classic Physique Olympia. Every single year, I've said I think Chris is going to win again. I don't think anybody is ready to stop him yet. I think there's some guys that are kind of close, but they're just not there. I think that's the same situation this year. And I think Chris will win his fifth Classic Physique Olympia title this year. I don't think he will be stopped. I think the guys that are chasing him are really good. They're improving a lot. But I still, even Ramon, I don't think they're on the level of Chris yet. As amazing as these guys are, Urs, Terrence, Ramon, even Breon, I think that frankly Chris's physique is still just on another level than they are on. And obviously, he's not going to win forever. He's not going to be just unstoppable forever. His reign will end one day. I just don't think that this year is going to be the year that the reign of Chris Bumstead finally ends. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Is Chris going to win another title? Yes or no? Why or why not? And if not, who's going to stop him? Now, if those first two stories weren't enough of a banger, we got another one from Brandon Curry's coach of Brandon Curry of what looks like right now the week of the Olympia in his hotel room in Orlando. A side shot here of Brandon. And Abdullah says, just waiting, no need to blah, blah, blah. And I think this is a good update and a good bodybuilder to discuss in this video because now with the announcement of Nick being out, I think one of the most likely guys, based on what we've seen from Brandon so far, including this update, to fill that top three spot or potentially even place higher than top three is Brandon. There's a lot of great bodybuilders in this lineup and a lot of guys that people think are going to crack the top three, including Samson, including Andrew Jack. But in addition to being the only guy in this lineup that has beaten Hottie Chupin at the Olympia before, Brandon. Brandon is also the only guy in this lineup, obviously besides Hottie and Derek, that has been in the top three before. So he has the most likely chance of being back in the top three now that Nick is gone. And, again, aside from Hottie, Brandon is the only guy to have won the Open Olympia before in this lineup. But Derek has obviously won 212. So, again, realistically... Even as quiet as bodybuilding fans have been about Brandon 
on paper, he's got one of the best shots at winning this thing, one of the best shots at being top three. On paper, he's beaten almost everybody in this lineup. On paper, there's really not much reason to doubt Brandon. And with the impressiveness of the updates that we're getting, like this one, I feel like, if anything, it's giving us more positive reinforcement that Brandon can get the job done. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about all three of these stories. Brandon shot of winning, Chris, Bum, Chris Bumstead shot at winning, and Nick Walker pulling out. Let me know in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, click that bell notification icon so you never miss an Olympia video. And as always, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Nick Strength and Power signing out. All right, guys, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy the content. Also, check out my Instagram at Nick Strength Power. My Facebook page, which is simply Nick Strength and Power. My secondary YouTube channel, Nick Strength and Vlogs, for vlogs and bonus content that you will not see on this channel. And consider subscribing to my third YouTube channel, Nick Strength and Pokemon, which is all things Pokemon and trading card games completely unrelated to this channel. So if you're into that, give that one a look. And all links to merchandise and social media will be in the description box below. If you guys want a Nick Strength and Power t-shirt, that will be in the Shopify link below. Have a great day.